Ladies and gentlemen, a game changer for Southern Nevada, the president of UNLV, Len Jessup. Well, thank you, Bob. Thanks to Chris and everyone at the Metro Chamber. And th thanks, everybody, for being here today. This university in this place at this time, and that'll be the theme of the presentation. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, first about what we're doing now and our plans to build on that and where we plan to go in the future, not only with the medical school, but with the entire university. So this university, what does that mean? Well, that's why we decided to come here. This is a great university that's poised for even greater achievements. A, a great university with aspirations to be even better. We've got great students at UNLV also. I chose to use this, could have chose one of many things that have happened in the last couple of months, but to represent how great our students are, I chose this slide representing these accounting students. And one other example, great things going on at this university. Doing great work in, uh, in uh, unmanned aerial systems and drones and in robotics. Well, the Department of Defense puts together an annual robotics competition every year. And they choose top teams from around the, the country, if not the world, to compete. And among the others, among the 25 teams chosen, Paul O oh and his team from UNLV have been chosen to compete. So what's neat about this university is it's a great university. And it's a great university with aspirations to be even better. And it's doing it in a, in a great place. In this place, what better place than to have this university aspiring to be a top tier university? This is, as you all know, a very, very special community. It's fun, it's vibrant, it's beautifully diverse, it's entrepreneurial, it has been ever since its inception. It's a wonderful blend of, of the best high-end entertainment in the world and embedded within a place of natural beauty in the deserts and the mountains that surround us. And Lake Mead on one side, Mount Charleston on the other. At this time, what's special about that? We've had in recent presentations uh, here just in the last couple of months that I've been to, we've had people talking about $12 billion in capital investments that are ongoing and planned in Southern Nevada. We've been ranked number three in job creation uh, in the country. If you look long-term, at, at long-term population and economic forecasts for the, for the country. What's interesting is that, essentially with the baby boomers and a lot of other factors, the top half of the United States is moving to the bottom half of the United States. It's been going on now for about a decade. It slowed a bit during the downturn, but it's, it's already picked up, especially in hot little economic ecosystems all along the southern United States. There are a handful, and we are one of them, and you could argue that by a number of hard measures, we're perhaps one of the hottest ecosystems. You can feel the growth percolating again here in Southern Nevada. Essentially, our, our vision is to be a top public university, a top tier public university in research and in teaching and in community impact. And the key word there is on impact. Think of, think of it as being a high performing university on all dimensions and very much community engaged. We recognize that we can't do it without the community. Back in the fall, uh, President Don Snyder began a very good strategic planning process around what it means to be a top tier university. We called in an external consultant, a, a firm that I'm familiar with, that helped to drive that process on our campus. And the work of many of you in this room and many on campus back in the fall identified five pathway goals for UNLV to become a top tier university. And I've got them embedded here uh, on, with a graphic behind it of the uh, Boyd School of Law. And I'm gonna go through these quickly. In the fall, we identified five pathway goals, mainly around teaching, uh, around research, launch of the medical school, community partnerships, uh, and around infrastructure. On the pathway goal of a student achievement, essentially what, what that work group has been focused on, I'm looking at Juanita, and this is an area that she's intimately involved in, Juanita Fain. We aim to be a school of choice we aim to have the, the best student experience possible in the, in anywhere in the country, bar none. We need to have degrees that are more valuable, graduates that are even more employable. Uh, retention rates need to improve. Graduation rates need to improve. There are a number of items that this work group is focused on around student success or student achievement. And a little bit of news here, this uh, not yet publicly announced, but each year all the universities around the country are examined uh, by, a, by an independent group uh, in terms of them being a minority serving institution and how many of the students uh, comprising the student body are from underrepresented groups and what is their experience. 
You've all heard that we're the sixth most, number six, most diverse institution in the country, and I'm proud to announce today that we just became, we were just told within a matter of days, that we are the first four-year university in Nevada to reach the 25% threshold as a Hispanic-serving institution, AH HSI <laughs> status. And then finally, I just want to say on research activity, the innovation is nothing if it doesn't have impact. The innovation that goes on at a research university is nothing if it doesn't result in some sort of impact on human lives, on the human condition, on the planet, on making our lives better. The goal, uh, at, I'm looking around, I've got some friends in the audience like Lisa uh, from uh, Tucson and the University of Arizona. And she knows the impact that Tech Launch Arizona has had. It took four or five years to build the tech transfer operation at U of A. We set out a goal of spinning out five to 10 companies per year from Arizona Technologies, and Arizona is well on its way to doing that, and UNLV will be as well. As I mentioned, it's not just about research in the physical sciences and engineering. Research at a, at a top tier research university also involves creative and, and scholarly activities that go on on the rest of campus, and mainly in the social sciences and in the arts. There is no greater community impact, I believe, uh, that UNLV will have than what will happen with the UNLV School of Medicine. You've got a lot of material at your table, and you can read some of the stats, but, but you live in this community, and you know it. We're short by thousands of doctors in this community. We need a, a public medical school. Quite frankly, we need all four of the medical schools to succeed. The University of Nevada, Reno Medical School, the new UNLV School of Medicine, Tarot and Roseman, all four of those need to succeed in order to address the, the shortages that we have in healthcare, not only in Southern Nevada, but the, in the entire state of Nevada. Thank you. <laughs> so $64,000 question, where's it gonna be? We hear that question a lot. We've got great, and so I, I provide this map because it's gonna be everywhere. It will. It will impact the entire Clark County and all three of the cities of Las Vegas and North Las Vegas and Henderson. This is the Cherry Creek supercomputer uh, located here in town at Switch. That's a great example of the kinds of community partnerships that we need. Our, uh, Don Snyder, as I mentioned, uh, has been critical in the, with, the, with the movement toward top tier status at UNLV. And he was fond of saying, we, we can't be a great university without a great city, and, the, and this can't be a great city without this being a great research university. And that is definitely true. The partnership with Switch and Intel is a great example of that. It's enabling us to do things we couldn't do uh, without the partnership. And it enables us to do things that then have impact on the community. A specific example with the dedicated research network from Switch and the supercomputer from Intel. And by the way, uh, Rob Roy and, uh, has personally added another $500,000 for upgrades to the Cherry Creek supercomputer. Think, think about that with your laptop. When you do an upgrade on your laptop, you buy a little bit of extra RAM for it. We're talking about a lot of upgrade here. $500,000 in upgrades to a supercomputer personally from Rob Roy that will make it the number four supercomputer in the country. It'll be here in town at UNLV. Imagine that. Thanks to Rob Roy. Uh, one more community partnership that I'll give, and this is a shout out to our partners at the Clark County School District. We all know that there's a shortage of teachers in Southern Nevada. Uh, the Clark County School District has told us they, they were able to hire three or 400 students out of the UNLV program each year. They need something like 2,000. Uh, we're not even close to satisfying the demand. The UNLV College of Education has partnered with the Clark County School District and the Departments of De Department of Defense and specifically their veteran services group in a new program called Troops to Teachers. Troops to Teachers allows a path for military veterans to find new careers as public school teachers while helping the Clark County School District fill the shortage of teachers. It's a great example of a collaborative program that will help them to supply teachers and to help vets uh, when they come back to engage and to return to the workforce. Yeah, good example. Uh, finally, on infrastructure, and this is a, a picture from construction going on back a, a time ago at Greenspun Hall. We're discovering through, through the process in the fall around top tier, and then now in the work group around infrastructure, that we're, 
how should I put it, we're not as easy to work with as we should be. And that team is, is identifying sub-goals uh, for ways that we can improve not only infrastructure, the facilities on campus, that, that's what that picture represents, but also in improving our business processes and our customer service, not only for the people that we, we work with off campus, but for the people who work with us on campus, our students and our faculty and staff, the employees. So those are the, the five pathway goals. That process is just coming to fruition. We will have in a matter of a week or two uh, a very detailed, actionable blueprint for top tier status in teaching, research, medical school, uh, infrastructure, and in community partnerships. Finally, I want to end with this. In my own consulting and executive education, I, as organizations are thinking ahead, I'm fond of doing a creative visualization exercise with them. And I want you to imagine UNLV in 2025 in complete success in terms of student achievement. Imagine in 10 years that UNLV offers the best student experience in the country, rivaling that at any university, rivaling the experience people get two blocks over in casinos and hotels on the Strip, the best student experience possible. Imagine a great research university. Imagine UNLV in 2025 is a great research university. In addition to all the arts and the exhibits and the performances that go on, imagine the spin-out activity from a top-flight research uh, university, creating five to ten new spin-out companies that stick in the local economy, that take our economic impact from 1.8 billion per year to more like four or five billion per year, which is estimated if we achieve the goals uh, in grant-funded research expenditures and spin-out activity. Imagine a medical school and an entire academic health center where we've got the medical school and the nursing school and the dental school and the physical therapy program and community health all working together in, ally, in an allied health sciences, a true allied health sciences enterprise. Imagine that medical school graduating 180 students per year. That's 180 new doctors per year into the local health care system. And in terms of infrastructure, just imagine us being a great place to work, uh, a great place to partner with, progressive, cutting-edge business practices, great place to be an employee. University of Arizona was just noted by Forbes magazine as being one of America's best places to work, bar none. Universities do that. We can do that at UNLV. Imagine that in 2025. Imagine in Rebel Athletics that we are dominating the Mountain West, not only in basketball, but in football and in other sports. <laughs> and just, exactly. And just maybe, just maybe, it's happened with University of Utah, just maybe when one of the other power conferences decided, decides to make an expansion like the Pac-10 did, that we've positioned ourselves, if we choose, uh, to make that kind of a jump, if invited to do so. Utah did it. There's no reason why UNLV can't do that. Imagine a community even more vibrant and vital than it is today. Southern Nevada will become a more economically diverse community with a top-tier research university flourishing. Uh, we can be even more of a driver in the local economy and key sectors in tech and biotech in, in addition to hospitality and gaming uh, technology and in uh, healthcare. Uh, even better and more arts and culture and humanity in addition to the tremendous impact economi economically. Imagine an economy in 10 years where downturns, who cares? Downturns bounce off of us. Economic downturns didn't have nearly the effect in Texas as they did here and in Arizona and in southern Florida and in California as well. Imagine being a state with a robust and diverse economy where economic downturns bounce off us. Uh, and then finally, we can't get there without your help. We need your help your time, your treasure, and your talent in helping this university get to where it needs to be. UNLV is your university, it, and it will be your top tier university, high performing on all dimensions, and actively engaged in community partnerships and, and being a leader with you at the table in economic development. I just wanted to end with this picture. Juanita will have to help me out. I think this is premier UNLV annual event. Uh, on campus every fall where we kick off the new academic year and welcome students back and welcome new students. It's a great celebration on campus. 
You think about that, right? Imagine back when you were just starting college and what it felt like to be on a, on a campus for the first time and beginning school, and that's what that picture captures, a very exciting time uh, for UNLV each year. I really mean it when I say I can't imagine a better place to be at this university, in this place, at this time. I'm Len Jessup. We are UNLV. We are your university. We've got a shared destiny together, and we will get there together. Thank you. Thank you.